When developing self-paced standalone content, such as for a multimedia project, some of the steps in the ADI process can be confusing. The ADI model was originally conceptualized to align with the way we create face-to-face -face training, and specifically training that may be developed by an instructional designer and taught by others. When there's no instructor involved and the line between development and implementation is not clear, the question is, how can ADI be adapted for use with multimedia projects? A is for analysis. In this phase, we look at what the project goal is, who the learners are, and what the context of the project is. We also look at any constraints that there may, might be, such as limitations on available technologies. D is for design. In this phase, we break the goal down into learning objectives and figure out what our project needs. We will look at the structure of the project and identify any multimedia assets that need to be developed and design the specific assets. D is for develop. This is the phase where our multimedia assets are created. For example, where you record audio and video and build animations. I is for implement. This is the phase where we put it all together, pulling the multimedia assets together using a delivery mechanism such as a website or an ebook. E is for evaluate. This is when we ask, does the project meet the learning goal? Do the media contribute to addressing the learning objectives? What needs to be improved? Now, nothing says you cannot do added D instead. What do I mean? You can do the initial analysis and design, but then do a cycle of development followed by evaluation, where you develop an asset and evaluate it, moving back to the development phase to address anything you discover during the evaluation phase. Then, once all assets are ready, you put them all together and then evaluate again. Maybe this should be added to the for multimedia projects, not ADI.